al kamal was a Kurdish ruler, the fourth Ayyubid Sultan of Egypt. During his tenure as Sultan, the Ayyubids defeated the Fifth Crusade. He was known to the Frankish Crusaders as Melodine, a name by which he is still referred to in the Western world. As a result of the Sixth Crusade, he ceded Jerusalem to the Christians and is known to have met with Saint Francis. Biography Jazara Campaign al Kamal was the son of Sultan al Adil, a brother of Saladin. Al Kamal's father was laying siege to the city of Mardin in 1199 when he was called away urgently to deal with a security threat in Damascus. Al Adil left al Kamal to command the forces around Mardin, continuing the siege. Taking advantage of the Sultan's absence, the combined forces of Mosul, Sinjar and Jazirat ibn Numar appeared at Mardin when it was on the point of surrender, and drew al-Kamal into battle. He was badly defeated and retreated to Mayafarikan. However dissent and weakness among his opponents meant that al-Kamal was able to secure Ayyubid rule in the Jazera region by taking her in. Viceroy of Egypt in 596-1200, after proclaiming himself Sultan, al Adil invited al Kamal to come from the Eastern Territories to join him in Egypt as his Viceroy in that country. al Adil's second son, al muazzam Isa, had already been made Prince of Damascus in 594-1198. It appears that al Adil allowed al Kamal a fairly high degree of authority, since he oversaw much of the work on the Cairo citadel, issued decrees in his own name, and even managed to persuade his father to dismiss the powerful minister Ibn Shuk. al Kamal remained viceroy until his father's death in 1218 when he became sultan himself. The Fifth Crusade in 1218 when al Adil died, the Ayyubid domains were divided into three parts, with al Kamal ruling Egypt, his brother al Muazzam Isa ruling in Palestine and Transjordan, and a third brother, al Ashraf Musa in Syria and the Jazara. Nominally the other two recognized al Kamal's supremacy as Sultan. Unusually for an Ayyubid succession, there was no obvious dissent or rivalry between the brothers at this point, partly because just before al Adil's death, Egypt had been attacked by the forces of the Fifth Crusade. al Kamal took command of the forces which defended Damietta against the Crusaders. In 1219 he was almost overthrown by a conspiracy led by the Emir Imad Abdin ibn al-Mashtab, commander of the Hakari Kurdish regiment. To replace him with his younger and more pliant brother al Faiz Ibrahim, alerted to the conspiracy, al Kamal had to flee the camp to safety and in the ensuing confusion the Crusaders were able to tighten their grip on Damietta. al Kamal considered fleeing to Yemen, which was ruled by his son al Masud. But the timely arrival of his brother al Muazzam from Syria with reinforcements brought the conspiracy to a swift end. al Kamal made many offers of peace to the Crusaders, all of which were rejected, due to the influence of the papal legate Pelagius. He offered to return Jerusalem and rebuild its walls, and to return the true cross. At one point he even negotiated with Francis of Assisi, who had accompanied the crusade, and who apparently tried to convert the sultan. Due to famine and disease after the Nile failed to flood, al Kamal could not defend Damietta and it was captured in November 1219. The sultan withdrew to al-Mansura, a fortress further up the Nile. After this there was little action until 1221, when al Kamal offered peace again proposing to surrender the entire territory of the Kingdom of Jerusalem, except Transjordan, in return for the Crusaders evacuating Egypt but was again refused. The Crusaders marched out towards Cairo, but al Kamal simply opened the dams and allowed the Nile to flood, and finally the Crusaders accepted an eight-year peace. He retook Damietta in September. Power struggle and the Treaty of 1229 In the following years there was a power struggle with his brother al-Muazzam. 
and al Kamal was willing to accept a peace with Emperor and King of Sicily Frederick II, who was planning the Sixth Crusade. al Muazzam died in 1227, eliminating the need for a peace, but Frederick had already arrived in Palestine. In February 1229 al Kamal negotiated a ten-year peace with Frederick II and returned Jerusalem and other holy sites to the Crusader Kingdom. The Treaty of 1229 is unique in the history of the Crusades. By diplomacy alone and without major military confrontation, Jerusalem, Bethlehem, and a corridor running to the sea were ceded to the Kingdom of Jerusalem. Exception was made for the Temple area, the Dome of the Rock, and the AQSA Mosque, which the Muslims retained. Moreover, all current Muslim residents of the city would retain their homes and property. They would also have their own city officials to administer a separate justice system and safeguard their religious interests. The walls of Jerusalem, which had been destroyed, were rebuilt, and the peace was to last for ten years. However, although there was peace with the Crusaders, al Kamal had to contend with the Seljuks and the Quezmians before he died in 1238. Successes his sons as Saleh Ayyub and Al-Adil II succeeded him in Syria and Egypt respectively. But the Ayyubid Empire soon descended into civil war. In 1239 the treaty with Frederick expired, and Jerusalem came under Ayyubid control. Personality al Kamil exemplified the Islamic laws of war. For example, after al Kamil defeated the Franks during the Crusades, Oliverus Scholasticus praised and commented on how al Kamil supplied the defeated Frankish army with food. Who could doubt that such goodness, friendship and charity come from God?